Morning everyone, so today is the day, this is a really unflattering angle, but what's new? Quarter to nine, I was hoping to start loading her by now, but my dad informed me that he had to go take a shit, so I want to drop off her little ankle tail things that she's got going on. If you follow me on Facebook or even Instagram, you would see what I'm talking about, and it's literally the most disgusting thing ever. Her feathers are like curled over like literal tails, so they're getting chopped before anyone sees her. Um... And then, yeah, hopefully she loads on the float with no dramas and doesn't pull shoes off or she hasn't pulled her shoe off overnight or something stupid, so... Yeah. Even if we both break down tonight And you say you hate me And we go to bed angry I know everything will be alright I'll be here waiting I'm changing, I just need time So instead of doing a sit down video, I decided to just voice over some clips of me working with Nell, uh, probably like a few, like probably a week before I sent her away. Um, and this was kind of the ride that made up my mind that I wanted to send her away to someone for a month or so, just to kind of help me out a little bit because she was, even though she came back from her spell really, really well, I just felt that I needed a little bit of help with her in terms of getting her up to speed quicker because I obviously have a chronic illness and it's a lot of work for me to bring on a young horse, which is kind of frustrating because otherwise why would I have a young horse? But, you know, it's what it is at the moment. Um, but she doesn't do anything naughty or anything. She's just, you know, needs the basics redone a lot. Um, but yeah, so that day I was just lunging her. And then I got on her and did what I had to do. Um, but yeah, so I want to talk a little bit more about why I chose to send her away which I've already touched on, um, and how I picked a trainer. So the reason why I picked this particular trainer was because I knew people that had used her personally. Um, a couple of people my adjustment had had dealings with her, and my horse, Eddie, who came back to me, had also had dealings with her. Um, and I knew, like, I knew about her, so she wasn't just some random I found on Gumtree for the lowest price. Um, she's one of the more expensive ones, unfortunately, but I know that my horse is going to get a really, really good education with her or at least the startings of a really good education. Um, so yeah, that's one of the main reasons I chose her. I didn't choose her because she was cheaper or because she had a deal going or anything like that. I chose her because she seemed to be what I wanted for Nelly. I wanted someone that would take her out in the bush, you know, not just do dressage work um, and that had more a natural horsemanship feel to them rather than the typical um, backing you know, that we usually, that she's had done previously, I wanted someone to kind of touch on her groundwork as well as her ridden work as well, which is what Ashley does. So that's basically why I chose, uh, why I chose the trainer that I chose for Nelly. Um, and yeah, so, and then obviously one of the main reasons why I had to send Nell away was because I am having a bit of a chronic fatigue flare at the moment. I just have no energy for horses. I don't really enjoy riding at the moment because it hurts a lot. Um, which is a shame because these horses, you know, they're my happiness. But it's obviously a bit difficult when your body literally wants to kill itself after you've ridden for five minutes. So, um, yeah. As you can see, Nell's wearing an endurance saddle now and some endurance stirrups because that's what we're going to be doing next year. Hence why I really wanted to send her away um, to kind of get that kickstart that I needed because I don't know anything about endurance. So I kind of needed Nelly to be a very placid go along with horse as you can see she's got a very long mane at the moment which she's keeping so um yeah so I thought I would just 
put this in here now. If you are looking at sending your horse away to a trainer, I highly recommend um, getting personal references. So not just finding references online because that's really easy to just manufacture. Find people in real life that have actually experienced with the trainer um, and making sure that they're right fit for your horse. But I know that's just in my mind I know everything is just in my mind Do you really want to be famous? Do you really want to be a superstar? Do you really want to get dangerous? Do you even know where the groupies are? Bitches out here be shameless And I really wonder where their parents are Look around, everything changes It feels like I've been buried alive Feels like I've been buried alive Everything happens for a reason People only in your life for seasons Word on Viv, real shit. Uh. Death and taxes, that's all we give. And you can make a life, but can't make a living. You can make it work, but that still ain't driven. Give a lot, but that still ain't given. Living life like this ain't real, though. Every night like this, I feel so dead wrong. Collision is head on. My vision is dead and gone. Perception of right and wrong. I've been here so very long. Right here in this very song. Uh. Look around, everything changes. Seem like everybody just strangers. Don't go outside, cause it's dangerous. Why everybody wanna be famous? I'm so OCD if they notice me. I might jump out the grave so they know it's me Man, everybody want this shit for free Hand out, palm up when they get to me In my mind, no, I never let it get to me Everybody got a turn when they get to me V's out, motherfucker, that's victory Tell me why what I'm doing ain't shit Every lie Feel like I'm killing my dreams when that voice go nah nah nah. Listen up now, love it or hate it, never debate it. You can never degrade it. Why these other motherfuckers probably thinking I made it? My mind jaded, no one ever evaded. I elevated just to keep it innovative, innovative. Goddamn, bring it back now. Throwing up like a rag now. Rap back, put me on the map now. No, we never back down. Just take my time, I just take my time. I know I'ma get it like this, so everyone know that I did it like this. Yeah, I know I'ma take my time. Battle the image inside of my mind. I know I'ma keep going. Tell me I can't, but I'm already knowing. I know I'm gonna ride. Even though I've been married a lot Let it breathe It feels like I've been buried a lot She ran away in her sleep and dreamed of para, para, paradise, para, para, paradise, para, para, paradise. Every time she closed her eyes. 